Hi everybody, Reverend Kate here. I wanted to be sure that everyone feels included in all the things that we're doing for worship when we can't meet face to face. So I want to make sure that all folks of all ages are, uh, those who are young or young at heart, are feeling included in the worship that we're doing. So I have a story I'd like to share with you today. It's one of my personal favorite stories. It doesn't necessarily have to do with our readings today or what we're talking about with the adult worship. Um, but I think it's an important story for us to think about in this time when some of us may feel like we have nothing or like things are very different than what they once were, um, to realize that there's still some good things and that we still can make something from nothing. So it's a great book and I encourage you to pay special attention when you're looking at the pictures to these parts down here, down below. There's some fun activity going on there. Let's get started. When Joseph was a baby, his grandfather made him a wonderful blanket to keep him warm and cozy and to chase away bad dreams. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful blanket grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your blanket. It's frazzled, it's worn, it's unsightly, it's torn. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the blanket and turned it round and round. And his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful jacket. Joseph put on the wonderful jacket and went outside to play. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful jacket grew older too. One day, his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunken and small, doesn't fit you at all. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the jacket and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make... A wonderful vest. Joseph wore the wonderful vest to school the very next day. But as Joseph grew older, the wonderful vest grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your vest. It's spotted with glue and there's paint on it too. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the vest and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful tie. Joseph wore the wonderful tie to his grandparents' house every Friday. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful tie grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your tie. This big stain of soup makes the end of it droop. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the tie and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make... A wonderful handkerchief. Joseph used the wonderful handkerchief to keep his pebble collection safe. But as Joseph grew older, his wonderful handkerchief grew older too. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your handkerchief. It's been used till it's tattered, it's splotched and it's splattered. It is time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it, Joseph said. Joseph's grandfather took the handkerchief and turned it round and round. Hmm, he said, as his scissors went snip, 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 and his needle flew in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful button. Joseph wore the wonderful button on his suspenders to hold his pants up. One day his mother said to him, Joseph, where is your button? Joseph looked. It was gone. He searched everywhere, but he could not find it. Joseph ran down to his grandfather's house. My button, my wonderful button is lost.
Joseph's mother ran after him. Joseph, listen to me. The button is gone, finished, kaput. Even your grandfather can't make something from nothing. Joseph's grandfather shook his head sadly. I'm afraid that your mother is right, he said. The next day, Joseph went to school. Hmm, he said as his pen went scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch over the paper. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful story. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope that it helped you to remember that even when it seems like we have nothing or nothing to do, that we can always find something and we can find ways to help each other too. Take care.